Alright. Um, today I'm just gonna spend a bit time on uh, on grid inverter. Alright. Um, what you have seen here, actually, this is we call it a mini or a small size uh, inverter. Alright. And um, how it works and how it performs and things like that, I will not show it to you, but you can follow the link below here and go to the video uh, from uh, made by uh, Rojas and you will find out it's a very interesting uh, product uh, please watch that video and to you know to learn more about this uh, small on grip uh, inverter all right um, sorry about the noise out there because uh, we are actually doing a production at the moment okay uh, where we in this location essentially is our satellite warehouse uh, somewhere in Malaysia okay um, I just want to say a big thing about this is that um, this little guys actually is designed uh, not to sell back the power to uh, TMB or to Cisco, okay? But what it does is actually is use the power from solar panel or photovoltaic, and it will from the DC power uh, from the solar panel it will convert this to uh, AC power 240, uh, 50 hertz, and then fit into the grips uh, that means it fit into your own grips like for example in your house in your factory or in your shop load okay and that's why it's plugged into a normal socket uh, like the one that uh, at our house all right and this one for example is the socket for the uh, the light okay like for example light fans things like that all right basically this is just a one of our satellite warehouse all right um, I well, probably want to show you that this is uh, one of the panels. This is what we call it the uh, transparent uh, panels that we make into a window frame. Uh, the reason we're doing this is not because of uh, uh, we want to sell to TNB. Uh, it's because of this area is actually is one of our factory uh, warehouse corridor. Uh, normally, we need to ship up uh, orders. Uh, all the courier partner like. Uh, DHL, FedEx, Nationwide, uh, Skylink, Skynet, they all will come through here and during the uh, raining time, especially in the afternoon, uh, this whole place uh, will be uh, red, uh, I mean wet, wet, yeah? it's very wet, so messy. So that's why uh, we put in uh, two pieces of uh, transparent solar panel just to block the, uh, the rain so that it, does, uh, it will not uh, make this place uh, Wait, okay. Um, I think my colleague, what my colleague does is actually is uh, she, she overdo it. Uh, instead of put uh, one solar panels, uh, she go ahead and put two solar panels. Uh, I think it's so that it's big enough, uh, large enough to block uh, the rain. But somehow uh, one piece of it is uh, roughly about 200 watts and uh, we have about 400 watts of power here. And at first uh, we use this power and then we fix it uh, to the, what we call that, uh, to the, our, our uh, Sigma MPPT and go and charge a small battery here. Uh, then we use it for some of the lighting uh, in our factory and, and things like that. And after a while, we'll find out actually the, the battery itself is always full in the noon time. In the other words, is uh, actually one piece of the solar panel is good enough uh, for the office lighting. Then we we'll figure out we still have excess of uh, another piece of transparent uh, panel and the excess power, we don't know what to do with it. Actually, then what we'll do is actually is with this excess uh, power, all right, uh, we fit it into this uh, small size, uh, mini size uh, on grip inverter. Yeah, so you can see this uh, right now. It's not very sunny. It's a bit cloudy. Uh, but what you can see here is actually uh, you can see those LED is moving around. Okay. Oops. Up or zoom. Okay. All right. Let me zoom this guy. Okay. Um, that means it's actually it produces power from the PV and you can see the LED is moving. If the LED is moved faster, that means it's more power actually generated and uh, DC power generated and convert into uh, uh, AC, yeah? 240, 50 hertz and then send it back uh, to the grip, okay? To, to the, to the uh, uh, office grip or house grip or 
or you know or, or your factory uh, grip okay but basically here um, I'll try to stress a few things um, um, is that you don't expect this um, um, this to help you to make money whatever Serda have offered uh, in the FIT fee in tariffs basically is to generate income it's more like an investment yeah so you put in 45,000 ringgit and hopefully by a month you can get about 500 ringgit and uh, hopefully by 10 to 12 years you can get back your money and the 12 year onward until the 21 year you can earn a lot of money that is their concept but this small grip inverter concept is a very different uh, from uh, 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 con uh, the the Serda concept is because this concept basically is whatever power you generate from your solar panel okay you will use it to subsidize all right subsidize your own uh, energy needs for example in your house all right in your office uh, or in your warehouse okay well we are not even selling to anybody okay and of course this kind of concept work very very well in country like for example in US and in Germany in Japan and you know so forth but it will not work well in Malaysia is because very simple reason because Malaysia the electrical bill especially from TMB is actually is subsidized okay when I would use the word subsidized is um, TMB generate the power uh, to mostly to uh, natural gas and this natural gas is actually on 50% is subsidized by Petronas so that's why our electrical bill is so cheap compared uh, to other country all right you can say that is one of the cheapest in the world and uh, it's something that I would say that the energy cost in Malaysia is something that is not real okay so that's why it's dirt cheap and to set to set to tell you that is that uh, solar panel or wind power or hydro or so other sort of uh, renewable power you will find out that actually uh, is not subsidized number one number two it's also uh, is taxable I mean whatever you import the solar panel or uh, component solar component from overseas uh, it is it, tax okay so you are you see the, the electrical bill from TMB is something is not real okay versus something that is real and someone you need to uh, pay tax and then again this is also considered a renewable energy okay so at the end of the day you will find out actually to implement uh, this kind of solution inside your house or inside your uh, businesses you will find out actually there is no saving and in fact actually you're gonna waste more money uh, by uh, you know investing in why the simple reason is some things like tanaga the energy cost that you're paying is not real and then versus something is real okay so this is a problem of subsidy okay um, I'm not gonna go into politics about is good or bad about the subsidy well what I'm trying to stress is actually is that um, in Malaysia I think will take very long time uh, to reach a uh, grid parity especially using renewable energy like uh, solar panel is uh, because of the gap is too far away okay but of course it's one day the government take away the subsidy and then we are facing some real co uh, electrical bill and then probably I would say that solution like this will be uh, useful to you okay um, but of course uh, if some of you feel that uh, you might want to go small or you know want to you know start something that you know can make a difference you know especially those uh, um, green people all right they want to go green they want to do something for you know the, the community they want to do something for the good of this mother earth okay oh uh, yeah you, you can get yourself a, a on-grid inverter a small on-grid on -grid inverter like this is a uh, very affordable it's not something like cost like a bomb like 10,000 ringgit no this is affordable okay you probably can get this 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 guy uh, less than 1,000 ringgit okay and then of course um, I'm not gonna spend about 45k you know for, for a solar panel it is too much for me all right maybe if I can start with something small uh, maybe 100 watts you know 50 watt 100 watts 200 yeah fine yeah get yourself a 50 watts um, if you can you get a 50 watt then later on you got more money you add another 50 watt and then and so forth and then you uh, slowly slowly uh, build up your, your your PV capability or your, your PV uh, uh, from there okay you can uh, you know use the power all right uh, pump to this guy and uh, subsidize your 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 energy lead. Okay, all right. 
So if you have any question, um, just just give it a call and and uh, um, and um, uh, drop us an email. All right. Thank you.